Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bandit Kings of Ancient China. As always, this is Zuljin, and we are headed to town this episode. We have nine people in town, so we need to go get some heroes here. We got some gold to be able to give them, so... Uh, these options are pretty simple. This is to return back to the base market is to buy stuff. Downtown is where all the people to recruit are. And smithy is where you buy orms. Shipyard naturally is where you buy ships. Now we're going to go downtown. Now there's a couple of different things you can do here. Rumors and divining, they're good for lore. Like this for instance. Divining, the bones say immortal Luo will not quickly serve another person. You must become more popular. So that kind of tells you on what you need, but it really doesn't hurt you to just try to recruit people outright to try to find out. Uh, naturally, this is one of actually the most powerful characters in the game. So I believe it takes a little bit of money to do that actually too. But if you just go downtown and recruit, uh, you can just try to recruit anybody. If we try to recruit a Marteluo, I have no desire to leave. You can't get him. Okay, so I kind of know what can happen here. Black Wind, really trashy dude. We're going to grab him. You know talent when you see it. Black Wind's probably the worst character in the game. <laughs> He's worse than some of the women. Uh, Gold Eyed Tiger, let's go kick some butt. Uh, some of these are just going to be warm bodies, guys. So, Lively One, which is an innkeeper. And I don't think we'll be able to get curly haired. Nope. Why not try someone else? Lone Fire and White Tiger. Probably not either. Five Hewitt Tiger. Possibly? No. Maybe Tiger Fighter. Let's try Tiger Fighter. Tiger Fighter does sometimes. Yes! He's probably going to be the best guy above there. They're kind of ranked. Like, as you can see, the top is Immortal Luo and 5 Hewitt Tiger. That's for a reason. These guys' stats are better than everybody else. You can actually view the stats of, of people before you even go to recruit them in town, too. And we'll go to Rumors just to show you guys what that is. Listen to Rumors. This is what it's going to say. 41 Dancer... Dancing Fleet. So this tells you where heroes are at. Uh, 21, the Outlaw Demon Mask. Um... The Scholar, the Outlaw, the Master, I think Red Main Demon, God of Accounts, and that's probably it. That's probably the only people that I would even worry about. They're way out. Naturally, Red Main Demon is in 11, and that's occupied by Gao Kui, so we can't do anything right there. As you just saw, I believe the money flipped, or the food flipped, something left. <laughs> I lost a little bit of money by doing that, but um, anyway, we're going to go back to town now that actually took a turn, but... The following turns, what you have to do is really get these guys some gold quick. Leopard Headed just looks like Leopard Headed may have just settled, right? He was in exile, I believe. But Nine Dragons is in 39. Tattooed Priest is in 17. Harry Priest is right above that, I believe, in 13. Um, Wily Warrior is. Yeah, <laughs> Wily, not in Mega Man. Uh, Wily Warriors in. Um, country 25, and as I said, Rope Scholar's in 10, and Raw and Priest is in 7, and we're in 6. Okay, so, still good on those. Let's give, now, I'm between 50, I'm between 40 and 60, um, what do you call that? Uh, people's loyalty. So, I probably ought to service a couple times, too. But we're gonna have to take the chance that that may go down, because we can't lose any of the heroes we went and give, get. So we're going to give to heroes, and we're going to choose Tiger Fighter because he's the big, he's the best, and we're going to give him 100 gold at a time. That's just how I do it. You can probably give less, but lol has become 72. I think 40 and below is red, or below 40 is red, and anything red they can leave you, which they will. They'll leave you. What's bad is when they have troops. That's what really sucks because they can leave you dead. Um, but naturally, you want to acquire as many of these guys as you can. Right now, we can't fit more than 10 in this country, but we can always expand out, even if we don't have many resources. So, let's give again. <laughs> I love this music so much. Lively one, 100. And that brings him to 87. Very good. So, we got two down, two to go. It's March, it's 1102. 
should be pretty good to get our taxes up much, much higher for the rest of the year, now that we got a little bit of body to share too. Uh, it's still going to be good to work mostly Blueface Beast if we can, due to the fact that we want him to get as much experience as possible, and because of his strength score right now, he does service the land and wealth much better than anybody else. We might have to work on food just a little bit too. Alright, we'll give... And Gold Eye Tiger, 100. Beautiful. Now we're just going to have Blackwind left, which if he would leave right now, guys, I really wouldn't feel bad. Nope, Leopard Head is still in exile. I forget what Leopard Head's flag looks like, actually. You see, all those countries on the left really don't have a whole lot of traffic through them. Like, all the heroes, just the middle of the map and to the right. There's a few uh, good heroes placed here and there, but... Okay, so apparently we're going to get to keep Blackwind, too. I'll show you their stats in just a minute, just to give you guys an idea of how different they really are and where popularity drives you. Lotte has become 90 naturally. 100 gold for that guy is like, what? Blackwind's like the part-time waiter at the uh, at the bad restaurant in town. Like, he's just, he's, he's pretty useless. Uh, summer ride seems to have broken out in 39. That's what happens. I think I said that before when your um, when your people's loyalty goes down and um, your score goes red. We're at 52, so that's pretty good. Everybody's given to. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let me show you guys my heroes. So home hero and okay, so blue face, as you can see. Guy's strong, 91 strength, 70 experience, about to be 92, 82 dex, 70 wisdom, great, great stats on this guy, integrity 97, uh, forget what the M and the C are, um, uh, <laughs> oh well, let's go to uh, hero, and I'll look at the, oh mercy, is the M, that's true, uh, Tiger Fighter. Tiger Fighter's strength is 64, which isn't all that. Dex 52 and Wisdom 44. Now, if I said Tiger Fighter was the best out of the three, you know that's pretty bad. Uh, see that little steering wheel above body, right on the side of his age? That means he can navigate, uh, he has like um, seamanship, I believe, and that helps him steer boats or um, get a little bit accurate. That's what the shipyards are for. He can also make boats. Uh, let's see, and we are in a town that does not have a shipyard, but we do have a smithy, and that's the symbol of the arrow, the knife, and the spear, uh, right below the, um, the year, and the season, and the country number, Juan. Okay, so, hero, and we're gonna look at Brilliant Blackwind, and I'll show you guys exactly what he looks like, yeah. 19, 13, and 4 fizz, that's really, really low guy. Um... But he has some body, so he can carry out some menial task, and uh, he can also house some troops, so... Um, 100 troops is better than no troops, you know? So, anyway. We're gonna do a little bit of servicing. Go back at that build. Every time you actually harvest, you do lose just a touch of your wealth and your form. Uh, every year that kind of goes down passively, so uh, once you do hit a hundred, you do have to maintain it here and there. Uh, it's not something that you have to do regularly, but when it's really, really high anyway, it doesn't matter. After a little while, you're going to have a few uh, main primary countries that are going to be your heavy, heavy producers. Everything else is going to be devoted to expansion. At least that's what my strategy is. Uh, looks like the town people changed a little bit. We were at four, now we're at five. Let's take a view. Home people, Let's see who that is. If it's somebody I know I can get, we'll go. Two-head snake, yeah, he he is somebody that we can just go get. I think that would probably be a good move. I really hate to do that because we could be servicing, and there's always a chance that our people can riot because we're at 55. Ah, oh, man, man, man. Choices, choices, choices. Uh, but I have to go. I have to. He is... Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to. I am going to service build. We're going to take a chance and hope he doesn't leave. Um, but I'm going to keep my body up so I can actually go to town. So Tiger Fighter will do it. Wealth is 57. And I think one more service and we'll have our 60... 
people's loyalty. And we should be good not to have to worry about any riots. Let's see where we're at right now. 59. Yep, one more. Service, build, still have the five people in town. Come on, one more turn. Can we do it? I sure hope so. Well, to 61. August looks like we'll have time to get Two-Headed Snake back. Mysterious epidemic is spreading. People are dying in 18. Is that Gail Kui? No, that's nobody. No problem. It is sad that people are dying, but... Come on. Yes, ooh, more people in the country. That was great that I waited. And 63 people's loyalty. Let's do it. Let's go to where. Actually, I'm going to view one more time. Home people. Make sure that my boy didn't leave. Yeah, two head snake. Mortal Luo, five hue tiger, lone far water, curly haired. I don't know, maybe somebody left and came back. But two headed snake, let me check him out. I think he was the guy that we can get, but I can't be positive. He has some good stats. Oh, man. I am going to take the chance. Got to take the chance, guys. Will he join us? Two-head snake. Ah, oh, yes! Sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I'll tell you what. While we're here, nah, we don't have anything to do. We're just gonna return. Let's get this show on the road. It is approaching 1103, which is really no semblance, but... Gotta make sure that our wealth gets up a few more notches. But we do have to give to Two-Head Snake first, because that is very important. Give Hero Two-Headed Snake. Which, I don't know why he's below Tiger Fighter, because in my opinion, he's a better hero, but, hey, I won't argue. They have a couple of superstars in 11 and 20, usually. Uh, really, really strong guys, even stronger than Blueface Beast, uh, all around in stats. Uh, so hopefully we get to get some of them. 10 is actually going to be a great target to go after, because they have some really good heroes in there and he really doesn't treat them right. Their loyalty always stays low. Like I said, he's got way too much to handle from the get-go. Okay, so all of our heroes are good. Now we need to service, build. I think I'm gonna try to get a couple of forms in here too. Get some food. We won't need that much. The next boost will probably support our troop level for the whole entire year from the taxes. So we should be fine with one more form. Last time we got, what, like six or seven hundred food just from the low stat that we had? So I think we'll be just fine here. All right, service. So right now we have 307 gold and we have 431 food. So we say 300 and 400. Blue face beast and now my boy's tired. Foreman, land the 17, okay. So that should give us a little decent jump in food for the, the troops that we're probably going to buy. Just need to get a couple hundred troops just in case one of the neighboring countries get brave. Is there no one to challenge this villain? Seems that the rise of evil Gale Kui has Emperor Huizong worried. Four old guys worrying. Don't fret, my friend. We'll get him. As soon as rotation clears, we'll check to see our statistics. Maybe we'll have some luck in 1103. So far we're doing great guys, making great progress. Look at this, 1861 in gold, 1211 in food. I got 69 people's loyalty, five people in town. Let's just take a look at that right quick. Home people. God's Vanguard, that's another one that we can get. So the next time guys, we'll go ahead and go into town. But uh, until then, this is Zul'jin signing off, and have a good one.